Good morning. Do y'all see my smile? It's fall. It's fall in the mountains. And you know that's my favorite time, my favorite time. And one of my favorite guests is here today. And she brought one of her favorite guests. So Miss <laughs> Susan Kiker is here. Everybody knows Susan. And for years and years and years, you and I have been sitting up front and center mm -hmm. talking about Blue Ridge and medical care. And exactly. we're going to do that today. Yes. Who would you bring with you? I brought Mr. William Henry. He's our CEO at Blue Ridge uh, Medical Center. And uh, so we're here to talk about some of the exciting things that are going on at the hospital and with our group. And you have on pink. Tell us I why. Do. Well, uh, we're going to talk about the Ladies' Night Out mammogram party, which we mm -hmm. have scheduled for Tuesday, October the 17th from 4 to 7. And uh, we're, we're really excited about that because, you know, with COVID, we weren't able to have like we had had in the mm -hmm, past. So mm -hmm. we're real excited. And another great feature is we're going to offer mammograms for ladies that have a hard time getting out from work uh -huh. so they can have theirs on Saturday. Oh, awesome. Yes. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. For the month of October. For the yes. month of yes. October, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And so there's no excuse not <laughs> no. to schedule a mammogram. Exactly. Don't say I can't get off work because right. now because, you can. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, then, of course, awesome. at the mammogram party, uh, they can come from four to seven and have the mammogram mm -hmm. there and enjoy, you know, uh, the giveaways. We're going to have door prizes, uh, light refreshments. Mm -hmm. So. Sounds good. Yes. Sounds good. So have we scared you off yet? Do you Not love yet. Blue Ridge? Not Do you yet. love Blue Ridge? I love Ridge? Blue Ridge. Yes. I love the area. I love North Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't it it's, beautiful? It's, it's it's beautiful. The temperature is perfect. I mean, the last few days mm -hmm. have been just amazing. Unreal. Uh, uh, yeah, sit outside on the porch and mm -hmm. uh, look out across the lake, and it's 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 very nice. When folks find out you're from Alabama, do they give you a hard time about football rivalry? Well, they do, but then when they find out I'm an Auburn fan, they give me a little <laughs> bit of grace. You know, a little bit of grace, not there much, but a little bit. Right? There I'm not from the the evil now, the evil it, empire. Is it true there. that I heard the evil empire lost a game? They did. Yeah. They I did. Heard that. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Oh, we're staying here laughing. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 They nearly lost another one. Oh, isn't that they something? They nearely lost yeah. to South Florida. That wow, wow. Was, uh, <laughs> now, how old is Nick Saban? Ooh, he, I don't know. He's probably he's got to be seven. He's past retirement age. Oh I would yeah, think. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's not going to give he, up that He empire. has made a statement. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> yes, yes. He's yes. not going anywhere. Yeah. So. He'll probably be like me. Everybody says, "Are you going to retire?" And I said, "Yeah, when I fall over dead on exactly, the bed." Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, why, why quit when I'm enjoying it? I had yeah. a financial advisor ask me one time when I plan to retire, and I. I don't know, probably about three months before I die. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's yes. About, that's good. I think I'll make it about that far. Yeah, that's good planning. <laughs> so what have you learned about Blue Ridge, and what have you seen that y'all have brought to the table that really makes a difference in our community? So, you know, really the, probably the biggest thing I've seen about the Blue Ridge community in Fannin County is that uh, there's a massive need for health care. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and that need was not being filled. We, you know, we came in, turned the hospital into a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, through that, we've recognized that there were a lot of things that just weren't being done, weren't being taken advantage of. Georgia is a great state for taking care of, uh, of rural facilities if they will just make an effort to, mm -hmm. to apply. And so um, we're, we're very, very, encouraged by all of the different um, benefits, I guess, that Georgia provides for a, a rural nonprofit hospital. Uh, one of them is a, a program called the Georgia Heart Program, and this is great. And I, I don't know of another state in the, in the South that does this, but they, the state of Georgia allows an individual or an entity, a business, to donate up to $10,000 to a rural hospital, qualified rural hospital, mm -hmm and it's a one-to-one -one tax credit. So if, wow. if you owe the state $5,000 on your state income tax and you choose to give that $5,000 to Blue Ridge Medical Center oh as a gosh. donation, it's a total wash with the state and, the, and we can collect up to $4 million annually. Oh my gosh. And, and, and so with that- Who ever heard of that? It's a great program. That is it's amazing. Great. You know, I've seen it in other states where they do it for 
historical districts mm -hmm. or anytime mm -hmm. they're trying to, to get a, an industrial park going or right. some type of, but I've never seen it for rural hospitals and it's a great, great program. Sure it's, it it's, uh, I, you know, I've looked across the board and there are actually fewer hospitals struggling, withering on the vine in Georgia than there are our, our surrounding neighbors. And I would mm -hmm. be willing to bet that program that has is, something to do with is, it. is yeah. part of it. Yeah. Um, who we dreamed that up? Who I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I mean, I literally just hey, found out about else. this recently, and, yeah. and we're, we're engaging with the Georgia Hospital Association to uh, get Blue Ridge Medical Center yeah. involved. Um, you know, so, so there's those kinds of opportunities that we're seeing. So basically, would you write the check directly to Blue Ridge? No, Medical? it goes no, through it the goes state. Through the state it, there's a, there's a process. The, so we, you choose who you want to receive exactly. your funds. I love exactly. that. You're basically awesome. paying your taxes and telling the state where you think it would be the best. I love so, that. Is that not amazing? Yes. Oh yeah. And it's oh, one yeah. to one. So every oh, yeah. dollar you send, it, it goes straight to. You. There's no. That is important. We're going to give give them yeah. seventy percent of it mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's mm -hmm. it's a. a one to one. That was a wise move. Whoever dreamed whoever that, whoever that, dreamed that When I come back, thinking. I'll know. <laughs> yes. When I come Good. back next Good. time, I will have Good. information on, on who, who, who dreamed yeah. it up and who pushed That's it through. That's great news mm -hmm. for the community. One That's of the other things news. I've noticed is there is a, a heart and a passion from the citizens that, that live the, in the communities around this area to support mm -hmm. people who can't support themselves, right? Right. I mean, there, there's just a, a heart and a passion of, of, uh, of charity, mm -hmm. if you will, and, and there's a need. Mm -hmm. One of the things we see most often are, are patients that, that show up to the hospital, to the ER, and they can't pay their co-pays, they can't mm -hmm. pay their deductibles, they can't pay, and then they get, they get bills on top, you know, they're not able to work because they're right. in, at the hospital, and now we're giving them bills on top of it, and it <coughs> compounds. And so one of the other things we'll be doing in the, in the near future is setting up a board called the Blue Ridge Medical Center Foundation. Mm -hmm. And it'll run alongside the hospital, have a separate board, separate um, controlling you know, board uh -huh. that then looks at what are the needs of the community. You know, one of the big bills that I see people getting are uh, transportation bills. Oh, yes. Somebody has a heart attack and we yes. have to fly them to Erlanger right. and they don't have insurance and they aren't, they didn't buy the, the flight insurance. Mm -hmm. They get a thirty, forty thousand dollar $40,000 bill and most people don't have a mechanism to make that mm -hmm. payment. Well, what happens right now is if, if the hospital transports somebody anywhere and they're not able to pay, guess who gets to pay that bill? Mm -hmm. The hospital. Mm -hmm. And so those are, that's one of the things that's really hurting really any rural hospital mm -hmm. that has to transport much is, is that the, the, the deficit falls on the sure. hospital to catch everything. And so um, I'm looking forward to getting a nonprofit going that runs along beside the hospital that gives people in the community an opportunity to help support those people that just, they don't have means mm -hmm. to, to support themselves. And, and I'm, I'm very confident from what we've seen out in yes. the community that this is a, a truly yeah. caring mm -hmm. and giving community that um, when they recognize a need, they take care of a need. Sure. And, and I'm Have encouraged. Seen, so I like Blue Ridge. Yes. Love, that was I a love, long answer for a, a question. I love Blue Ridge. Have you ever seen a $71,000 transport bill? $71,000. I haven't $1, yet, but I've seen sixty. Seventy-one thousand um, dollars. A friend had a, an accident in, in her bill, and and a friend of mine was transported to Erlanger from Fannin years mm -hmm. ago, and their bill was thirty thousand. Yeah. So yeah. it is, it and is. you're not prepared for that. No. But if you're if you see your loved one dying, mm -hmm. and his chance is, You've got to get <coughs> you're not going to say get him out of the helicopter. Right. No, right. you're right. going to send him on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, that's yeah. awesome. And, you know, and then when you live in the mountains. Right, I love the mountains, mm -hmm. love the mountains, but it's hard to get out of the mountains mm -hmm. fast. Yeah. Right, and the exactly. only way to do it several, many a time is by helicopter. Yep, that's uh, exactly and right. And it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So it we're working on, we've actually got another initiative I won't really get into because we're working with several uh, the public officials around trying to get some, some coverage for everybody mm -hmm. in that, that type of realm so mm -hmm. that um, if you live in the county or the city and there's there's some mechanisms to help pay for everybody's transport mm -hmm. because it's a it's 
if you live here and something drastic happens, you're in a car wreck and there's a, you're getting Transport. flown out. Yeah. You're yeah. getting yep. flown out. There is mm -hmm. no other way to get you to a trauma one center mm -hmm. fast enough other than a helicopter. Mm -hmm. um, and so we need to just make sure and take care of the, the citizens right. uh, that, that are. Didn't we have the flight guys on with you one time? I think they came years and years yeah. ago and we talked about the importance mm -hmm. of that the, because there are areas where you have no choice. Right. You've got yeah. to go by helicopter. Well, so yeah. To save your life, that yeah. is yeah. a necessity. Yeah. That's and so it. You, know, you, you get a bill for $60,000, dollars yeah. and yeah. but it saved your life, yeah. right? And so, and then that bill causes you to have a heart and attack. That, and then that bill, <laughs> yes, yes. And so, and so you're like stressing yourself to death. And that's yeah. what we want to try and mitigate. Yeah, is is take care of that. I mean, there there there's opportunities and uh, and and there are mechanisms to to be able to do that. And so we'll be working to. As a nonprofit, can I ask you this? Because there's been a lot of hype lately on the media that so many people in Georgia lost their Medicaid because they didn't know it was time to revamp or re mm. up, sign yep. up or whatever. And they said hundreds of thousands of people, including a lot of children and a lot of elderly, lost their Medicaid because they didn't know how to sign back up. Have you run into any of those problems? We haven't yet. Thank we goodness. Yet. Yeah, because they said <clears throat> that's been critical. Sure. That's been critical because if you're used to going to the hospital or the doctor and you've always had Medicaid and then you realize, oh, it's lapsed. I've never heard of that before, but they said it's really it's really bad in Georgia right now. Hmm. So I have not seen that. I'll, I'll do some digging, but I, I haven't noticed that we've had yeah. any significant denials of, mm -hmm. of you know, people that thought they were covered, covered and, and they're not. Yeah. 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 Okay, I know you hear from people put him out of the page because <laughs> you hear the locals. Are the right. locals happy with what's going on? Yes, yes, most definitely. Yesterday morning I was walking down the hall and this gentleman, uh, you know, he said, good morning, Susan. I said, good morning, how are you? And he was going to radiology and he was saying how happy he was that, you know, that somebody had come in mm -hmm. and And was, literally saved a hospital. Yes. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. and and you know, still the employees are still overjoyed and and happy that they did come in mm -hmm. because we knew what the outcome would be had mm -hmm. they not. And then right. things are, you know, much more. Everybody's much more excited about what's going on. Uh, for instance, last month we uh, participated at the Quanah's Rodeo, mm -hmm. and I still <laughs> we, we had. Uh, too many she got volunteers. on to me because we had too many volunteers. <laughs> well, I was like, if they want to volunteer, <laughs> let them come. But then I got I got a call from. She got in trouble. Yeah, I got in many. trouble with the person over. He says, well, I had some complaints, and I said, well, people are just excited. To, yeah. yeah. I said, and we had people volunteer that had never ever volunteered before and have been at the hospital for a number of years. So yeah. that says That's a good. lot. That says a lot. That says yeah. a lot. Yeah. So there's an energy. Uh, yeah. Yes. That is so important. That mm -hmm. is so important. Yeah. Now, I know that y'all are going to be doing something at a ball game. Is it this weekend? Yes. Tell we, me about uh, that. Okay. Uh, we volunteered to work the home concession stand Friday night in Fannin mm -hmm. County. So, mm -hmm. And it's pink out night, so uh, we'll be wearing pink. And uh, it had enough volunteers for that also. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe more than you need. Or maybe more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She, she said it. She said, I'm going to take 10. 10. And, that, and, that's and, what. And she had 10 <laughs> weeks Just, ago. Yeah. Weeks yeah. Ago. yeah. The that's next awesome. day. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, so that that's a very, a lot of fun and knowing that other people want to participate mm -hmm. and, and do their part. Because like I said, there's some that have never volunteered before yeah. in the mm -hmm. years that I have been at the hospital. And one of the great things about being a mountain community, you have a lot of people retiring who are mm -hmm. moving here and they want something to do. Right. So how do yes. they reach out to you to become part of your team to, well, to volunteer? Uh, we're, uh, well, the volunteers, we always, you know, have a need for volunteers. We have applications. The they pink can, ladies. The pink ladies. Yes. 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 And uh, we we could use some some volunteers there, you know. And it, we'll not say that a bunch of them are getting older and they <laughs> might be retiring because they're like me. You know, they'll probably work till they fall well, over. Well, yeah, and yeah. they enjoy yeah. it. You yeah. know, they yeah. they are retired, and uh, you know, some of them have been with us for years, and they keep 
they're a vital Keep on part going. of Austin. Yes. Sure. They're, sure. they're yeah. right there at the front door. They're smiling mm-hmm. every morning. They greet yeah. us. You yeah. know, it's yeah. it's, and they help with registration. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, Keep the patients, mm-hmm. you know, line if they mm-hmm. need something to drink while they wait if they've been waiting very long. Yeah. Uh, I so. love that they have the little store too because yeah. often. Uh-huh. Instead of running out to get a gift, you can just go to the gift shop. Exactly. And there's something there for everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the gift shop is small, but we have a lot of uh, great items for, mm-hmm. for sale. And that's what happens. People are waiting. They're looking. You know, they'll be sitting there. Can I, I want to go in the gift shop. Well, you know, go please. Spend money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please. We've been making a lot of efforts to just get out in front of the community. I, mm-hmm. Susan's been dragging me around to all kinds of different things. And, yeah, uh, I saw your uh, shoes were wore out when she was dragging me around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 They keep a pretty tight rein on me, too. You better be yeah. here, right here. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you have co owners who, um, the lady and, and the gentleman who came yes. before. Okay, I was so fascinated with what he does on all avenues. I mean, like, he's. He's got a lot going on, and and I've told so many people about his clinic up near Mont Eagle, mm-hmm. you know. And I said it's amazing to me because everything he seemed to touch was to help somebody. That's it. Uh, it wasn't doing it for, for gaining Bapa. wealth. Mm-hmm. It was truly. Bapa gaining. was a success before he was thirty. Isn't that amazing? And he is all about giving back. Yes, I yes. Mean, he is. That's the kind of people we want to welcome to the community, mm-hmm. right. and that yeah. is that so way. amazing that he chose Fannin County. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We're very now, lucky. are we ever going to get to meet the lady? Well, Martha, she comes around occasionally. Yeah, she, uh, she's more. She the problem is she's our operations manager, so, so she's, she's running hither and yon. Every <laughs> hospital yeah. dealing with day to day operations, uh-huh. and it's it's tough yeah. for her to yeah. stay anywhere very long. Yeah. But I know she would want to if she ever oh, yeah. stays yeah, long yeah, enough. Absolutely. Because you absolutely. know when she, they were coming in last time, it had been her plan, you know, to to, to come here. down, but than other things so yeah. hopefully one day we'll I'll kidnap her and bring her down exactly. <laughs> believe it or not there uh, there are so many fires every day that I you're just imagine. trying to put out and mm-hmm. it's yeah Martha is extremely busy yeah extremely. now is word getting out in the medical community that people now want to join forces with you because yes. you're growing and We're, changing we've, we've made some uh, strategic alliances with a mm-hmm. few a few of the medical providers that mm-hmm. aren't employed by us in, in, in town and we'll continue to to go around and visit with mm-hmm. you know providers that may have had a bad taste in their mm-hmm. mouth from mm-hmm. the previous administration and uh, right. mending those fences mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's being received very well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot better so than we, we anticipated. <laughs> yeah. First, yeah. first few she's like, this one may be rough. <laughs> and, and we go in, they were great. Yeah. They were That's great. awesome. Was, That's it, awesome. It, yeah. 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 And wouldn't you want to work close to home and where you're familiar sure, with everybody? Absolutely. Doesn't that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, most yeah. definitely. Yeah. And the older our population <coughs> gets, the less they want to have to drive out of town for care. Of yeah. course, some instances. First two questions. <coughs> when people come to buy real estate, how close is the hospital? Exactly. And where's the closest grocery store? Uh-huh. Those are the only two things that matter. Everything else is yep. unimportant. That's right. The right. hospital, my husband's has some medical issues, da 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 da. Or I'm getting older and I need to know mm-hmm. how close it is to the hospital. That's very, yeah, very that's important. That's very yeah, important. Very important. And if y'all had not rescued, it would have been a it, it would have been a sad been, situation. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 There would have been a major vacuum of uh, of need between, you know, McKaysville, Copper mm-hmm. Basin, even all right. the way down to L.A.J. Oh, sure. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. you guys lost yours right. years right. ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, uh, it's crazy. I remember when the basin closed. I mean, that yes, was like traumatic. Sad. Yeah, it, it was. And, and it was like, and, and the, the mining company had always depended on that hospital. Mm-hmm. And it was, you know, that, that was a big deal. Yeah. That was a big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and thank you for coming. Yes. Thank, you. <laughs> thank, thank y'all know, for who, having me. Who, who chose who chose the Fannin County location? Uh, Bapa. And did he just get online and? Uh, we had been discussing other facilities with Corum, which was the previous owner of the hospital, mm-hmm. and um, they they offered it up on a list of hey these are the ones that and you know Bapa's looking through and determining what resources we have because mm-hmm. we're we're a small 
company, of, mm -hmm. and, and, and so we only have so many resources. And he, he said, I think I got a guy that can cover Blue Ridge, and we were looking, there's seven others that we're going to end up taking over over the next uh, 12 months. Mm -hmm. and. So Blue Ridge was an easy one because he knew he could tap me to mm -hmm. uh, come over. Come over from yeah. Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're glad that, that he tapped. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, well, could we have lunch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, it's it's so great to see this this hospital saved mm -hmm. because it, it has been a, a big part of the yeah. community, and it was it would have been a huge loss. It, so, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Now, do people pre-register for the mammogram event? Uh, yes, I have a number here they can call. I would love for you um, to share that number. Uh, straight to the radiology department. Stephanie, she's uh, over the, uh, she's a mammographer. Uh, it's 706-632-4248. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they call and schedule, and again, it's on October the 17th? Correct. Is that right? Tuesday mm -hmm. okay. from 4 to 7, but they can schedule... Yeah, you know, during the day and, of course, right. um, Saturdays in October uh, for those ladies that can't make it. And mm -hmm. even if you've already had your mammogram, you can still, you know, come to the party. And, and we have a flat rate, right? Correct. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you, you do not need an order from your doctor. We will have those orders written by okay. one of our providers. And uh, it's $99, and that includes the reading of the mammogram. Wow. wow. And basically anybody... That's like a trip through the <laughs> McDonald's drive-thru. I'm no, <laughs> telling you what, four people, you're right. You're right. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Any, any, any woman, is, it's recommended at over 40 that they have a routine mm -hmm. mammogram, and then they have follow-ups every two to three years, mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. on family history and some other issues. But... Um, yeah, those routine screenings are, are extremely vital because 99% of breast cancer that is detected early, is, there's a, a 99, there's a five-year survivability rate is 99%. So if we detect it early, 99% mm -hmm. of those people are going to survive that cancer. If we don't detect it early and it's a secondary by the time we mm -hmm. find it, yep. the survivability goes down to 27%. Yeah, not good. Right. No. Not good. And, and so early detection is, is the, the key, key. Mm -hmm. to beating breast cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and a, a routine mammogram sometime soon after forty years old is the mm -hmm. best way to catch them because mm -hmm. at that stage it's it's not likely that they're gonna have anything, but you get a baseline so that now I can I can measure all of the neck the following mammograms against this one that should be normal, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I can detect a change, a right. small change right. a lot sooner. That's the, the real key is catching, catching it early and having something to, to measure against, mm -hmm. and that's why that baseline. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> I had a mammogram that came back questionable, and it was because I over-caffeinate. I over-caffeinate. <laughs> can't believe yeah. I said that. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. I like your choice of words. I over caffeinate too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. I had but it to was quit scary. caffeine. Yeah. It, it was causing heart problems. So, well, yeah, see. I'm under caffeinated yes. now. <laughs> it's hard. I drag every morning. Know, it's hard. But mine came back as a little cloudy spot. And, uh -huh. and so after they reviewed it and looked and they said, you do much caffeine. And then I was doing a whole lot more than I am now. <laughs> now I do like three or four a day, but used mm -hmm. to. And I do unsweet Three or four tea. an hour? I do stevia. No, I do stevia. And I just, I have a big cup with me in the morning and then I get one at lunch and then I have one at night. And I'm trying to do lemon water now more, mm -hmm. yeah. but I really, gosh, that tea, <laughs> oh, you know, but but when that cloudy thing came back, it scared Scarce, me. Yeah. It scared me because I had an aunt who passed away from breast cancer, so I'm like, holy cow, you know, and the mammogram the year before was perfect, yeah. and then the and next yeah. one wasn't, but I might have been caffeinated a little bit too much, so. <laughs> so there are other things. Now, let's talk a little bit about AFib because okay. I'm, and you know this person, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to tell you the name, but she had a mini stroke, and they were on 515, and they had to call the ambulance, and she was taken, and <clears throat> she survived, and everything's mm -hmm. good, but it was a mini stroke, started AFib. Are there heart specialists that we get now with Fan and Regional? Can Absolutely. we talk we about how cardiology. important the heart yeah, is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so AFib, so the heart's four ventricles, or four 
chambers, two ventricles, two atria, and and the the top is where the atria are, and they they pump. They're small pumps, and they pump down into the bottom, right? And so it's this is the beat. If your top AFib is beating when the bottom is not, so you get this this like tremor almost up top. What it does is it causes <coughs> your blood to clot. She had and a so stroke. It'll uh. clot in that atria from the the the, the vibration. Okay. It's almost like a, a jitter, mm -hmm. and and those those clots will be formed. Then it pumps it down in the ventricle, and the ventricle shoves it out up to the brain. And that's where your stroke comes in. So AFib is serious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you if you are in AFib, uh, you need to be seen. And and one of the easiest ways you'll you'll the first signs you'll see people is they'll feel like they have a, a something in their throat and they're, <clears throat> and they're trying to clear mm -hmm. their throat like a flutter uh -huh. almost. That's typically AFib. That's wow. Your, that's the top of your heart just just beating, kind of having a tremor almost outside of the normal contraction so uh -huh. it'll, it'll shake and, and they'll feel that in their throat. So if they're doing that, they need to go to their family physician, mm -hmm. get an EKG, they identify AFib. You know what the, the number one cause of AFib is? No. Caffeine. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on lemon water, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Darn that's it. why I had to quit drinking is it caffeine really? because I was having AFib. Wow. And, um, and yeah. So Interesting. Interesting. Number one cause mm -hmm. there. Wow. Now, what other things do we need checkups? Because I'm thinking, I've never had a, what do you call it, a UTI, but I've had kidney infections mm -hmm. all my life. What's the difference in those two things? And how do people look and know, do we have a kidney doctor on staff? We, do, we don't have a nephrologist on staff. Okay. We do have some nephrologists that mm -hmm. are specialists that mm -hmm. come to Blue Ridge. Because mm -hmm. your yeah. kidneys, without your kidneys, I don't know if you know it or not, you're yeah. not going to make trouble. it. No. Yeah. You're in yeah. trouble. You're in trouble. Kidneys vital. are so important. They are vital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I am not a medical doctor, so I don't want to get too much into yeah, uh, yeah. what what the yeah, you, you've got a, a UTI urinary tract infection, which is going to be the a, an infection in the urethra, which is outside mm -hmm. from the bladder down, right? And then a kidney infection is going to be an infection that is, 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 is located localized in the kidneys themselves, right? Now, I don't know the the reasons you have one versus the other. It's crazy because um, they say as we get older, I can't mm -hmm. believe I said older. <laughs> as we get well, older. Well, you hope you get older. Yeah, yeah. you have I mean, to I'm, watch I'm, out for those I'm things. I'm trying to get yeah. older. Yeah. I'm trying to. Well, they <laughs> said with UTI that it literally causes your mind to do crazy well, things. Yeah. And the oh, infection, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. it Sometimes you yeah. act like you have dementia. Absolutely. From a yes. UTI. Shows from a UTI. That, that happens quite frequently, quite frequently with people that present Isn't that crazy? at the ER. They're like, you know, yeah. Like, like said, mama's dementia. lost it and it's Look, we've had them come in suicidal mental. yeah right? really they're suicidal and that, then you find out they have a uti you clear that up and they're like no i'm fine yeah i mean it's oh just, my it, gosh it, yeah. and that, yeah and it's an infection yeah it, it's generally when they're older mm -hmm. that it's uh yeah crazy yeah crazy so there are things our kidney our heart our lungs those are so important so important mm -hmm. And, and the cancer diagnosis. And, and we know in the areas that we serve, yeah. cancer has just taken out so many mm -hmm. people that we knew and loved. And uh, early detection is the and key. And that's the thing, the key. breast cancer the is key. beatable. Mm -hmm. This thing mm -hmm. is completely beatable if they'll just come and, and do routine screening. Yep. Yeah. Right, I mean it is. It, Starting at 40 years old. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. it's crazy. Now, what else have you got planned? I know that y'all do. Um, are you doing anything for Christmas, the holidays, anything going on? Uh, we always do the love lights right. and, and that's I knew the, the auxiliary. Yep, and yep. so then uh, they they do scholarships. In memory, they do those in, in memory, memory of or of honor. Mm -hmm. In memory or, or in honor. And we just got the last year's poster. You know, we got a large uh, poster framed and hung up in the in the hall. So if people want to honor somebody now yeah. from the community, how, mm -hmm. do they reach out to the auxiliary? How yeah, do they do that? Uh, normally we wait, you know, closer into after the, Halloween. Uh, yeah, after <laughs> yeah, we hadn't done that. <laughs> yet, yeah, after Halloween. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and it'll be in the newspaper, or then we have the forms that you know people if they want to drop by, or we can mail them one, or they cut cut them out mm -hmm. of the newspaper. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, 
we're very fortunate that uh, yeah, the News Observer works very closely with, mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to take a commercial break, and then we're going to have a song that's going to feature, I hope, a little bit of fall foliage, a little bit of mountain view, something. I trusted Trace to choose something because I said, I just feel fall in the air. Don't y'all feel it? Doesn't it feel good? We'll be back in just a minute. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ball Ground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver. And we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. The ETC Game of the Week is back again this football season. Watch your local teams go head-to-head -head each week only on ETC TV3. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. God 
set down his only son just to ransom everyone by the echoes from the fire. Yes, from the fire, and the God of every earthly land would not pick nor choose a man for his blood. Okay, it is time to get to know Fannin County, and the best way to get to know it is not on a gurney, but if you <laughs> if you need a good hospital, we Ridge, can we yes. can recommend Blue Ridge Medical Center. <laughs> we can recommend it because it has done the transition. Y'all have been here how many months now? And you're kind of July first, so less than three months. Yep, two, two so and a half, three, right. Yeah, are we, are we going to do him a 90-day report card? <laughs> uh, that's yeah. a good idea, yeah. Sherry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> evaluation. Yeah, you yeah, can evaluate yeah. me in and, and seriously, yeah. the best way to do that is talk to the community and Absolutely. talk to people in the grocery yes. store and say, have you mm -hmm. tried the new hospital? Have you yes. tried the new services? Yes. Have you seen what we've done? That's the way you do it. Exactly. Yeah. And we're still combating the... You'll have people say, oh, I thought y'all were close. Yes. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, I know. It was close, but we're not. Yes, yes, we're we're yes, open for yes. business. Yes. And, and that's sad when it got to that point that people had that negative, it's done, it's over. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. it's not done, it's over. It's fresh and new. Absolutely. It's fresh yeah. and it's, new. It's funny. So. I, I, when I first got here, I lived in the Hampton Inn for eight weeks. and uh, <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> The first day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you have maid service. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was that. There was that. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, I spent a lot of time downtown and, and going to different places, and it didn't matter where I was. If I was sitting there eating, somebody would strike mm -hmm. up and say, hey, where are you from? Where are, you, where uh -huh. are you in visiting? No, I'm here for business. What do you do? Well, we, we bought the hospital. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it would be stuff like, I'm sorry. <laughs> or, yeah, or yeah. you know, bless your heart. Bless you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> bless it was heart. never good. It was never yeah. good. Now, and I would say, I know, I get it, I get yeah, it. But we're here. We yeah. we're here. We're yeah. here. And yeah. and so we've been uh, getting out in the public uh, much yes. more with the uh, just as a, a, a hospital. We do a mm -hmm. trivia night right now on Monday nights at oh, one of wow. the local establishments there, and uh, and I MC it. We'll usually have about yeah. thirty people from the hospital participating, and then as soon as we're playing, everybody in the place wants to play, uh -huh, so uh -huh. it's it's good. We're And what kind of trivia questions do you ask? Just hard ones. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh. it's stuff like I mean it, it's a it's just again, it's not healthcare. That's fun. It's it's just That's straight fun. Yeah. trivia for the masses. That right? is cool. And, well, uh, for instance, uh, I didn't get to go Monday night because I had a city hall meeting. But uh, they were talking about the next day at safety huddle in the <laughs> The question was, what's in spam? What, no, no. Uh -huh. What what two words came together For to make the word spam, uh -huh. the food product? Do you know what it is, Sherry? Ham and something. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Spiced ham. Oh. But we had a bunch of different answers. Oh. A bunch of different I answers. I could imagine. And, uh, <laughs> I would have thought, thought possum and ham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So we were, we were getting a kick out of And up, where do y'all do this? Where do you at go? the Blue Coyote. Okay. So. Isn't that it behind is a, Zaxby's? No. no. It is, where is right, it? It's, it's, it's right across the railroad track from the Hampton Inn, which okay. is why I know where it's okay. at. Okay, okay. Um, it was the easiest place to go eat, and, and I'm there, and I, I, I like the little environment. Uh -huh. and, uh, and it was funny because I said, I want to do this at the Blue Coyote, and uh, and several of the people at the hospital were like, 
that's a bad place. That's rough. <laughs> And uh, I was like, I've never seen it bad, you know, because I'm usually there like yeah. five or six, five, six o'clock yeah. in the afternoon yeah. eating yeah. dinner. And um, and then I had some people actually say, you know, I don't know if um, from my, my faith, my Christian standpoint, that I really feel comfortable being there. And, and I said to them, I'm pretty sure Jesus would have been on the front line and and I'm going to be there with him because I truly believe the only way we change this world is through the love and power Mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. and I want to be there. I want to be there loving on people, showing them that we care about them in any place where they dwell. Um, So yeah, yeah, we're out there having a good time. I love it. uh, That's awesome. That's awesome. Now what about the um, growing? What, What do you see for growth? So right now we're still trying to survive mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I, I told Glenn at the, <coughs> at the observer the hospital is losing around four hundred thousand dollars per month oh my gosh. okay mm-hmm. and, and oh it was my it was not going That's to more last. Than I made last you year. Can't, <laughs> You're you supposed can't. to laugh. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably more than all oh, three of us made right. last yeah. year yeah. and uh, and so um, We've taken measures to, to stop that, and, and part of it was cutting back to the rural emergency hospital, um, which gets us some money and saved us some money, but that process just, we, we what, a week or two ago, mm-hmm. finally, we applied for it in June. Mm-hmm. We just received <coughs> a notification that we've been approved to be that. We still haven't seen any money from that. Wow. And so it's going to be, I think, I'm estimating probably November before I really am able mm-hmm. to say we're not losing hundreds of thousands of dollars every month. Wow. Um, and so what I'm really looking for on the growth side is is sometime toward the end of the year I'll be able to really see what our, our cash flow is, what the mm-hmm. what the, the, the atmosphere in the in mm-hmm. the community is. And then we'll start looking. Mm-hmm. And I've had several several physicians that have left over the years with dissatisfied with the administration come and tell me, look, the day you get this under control, I want to come back. That's I love awesome. the community. That is I love awesome. the area. Yeah. Um, just the day you get it. And so that speaks I, volumes. I yeah. think within twelve months we'll come back here. You know, we'll come back several times. But next year you know, mm-hmm. this time mm-hmm. we'll have a whole different story to tell. That'd we'll have awesome. a different look. Um, you know, I, I had all these great ideas. I was kind of commissioned. My daughter's a, a graduated Auburn School of Architecture, and she can, she does these three D renderings. If somebody mm-hmm. tells her this is what I want, she can make some oh, amazing awesome. stuff, right? So I was going to commission her to to do what I I want the hospital to look like. And I, I was telling her I was going through all this stuff and. One of the ladies at the hospital said, oh, we've got some of those. And they go into a closet and they uh-huh. pull out where about every five years, somebody would give the, the community a, a pipe dream of what they were mm-hmm. gonna look like. And I said, okay, scratch this. Oh, we're wow. not talking about what it's gonna look like or showing Just pictures wow. until I know I've got the funding to mm-hmm. do it. Because mm-hmm. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. promise something yeah. that we don't yeah. deliver on like it's been done time Fire. after time yeah. after yeah. time. So. Yeah. Well, let me, let me give you some advice to keep him un- keep him in control. <laughs> do not do not allow him to go get white spray paint and spray paint that brick building for, <laughs> for God's sake. As a realtor, As a realtor, I want to save every brick home I can Man. because if it's brick it's beautiful forever. Yep. And everybody who has painted, painted everything uh-huh. white yeah. <laughs> and you can't bring yes. it back. That's right. <laughs> you can't bring it back. My goal would be to uh Put a, a beautiful a, entry would be like mm-hmm. a rock mm-hmm. facade with a nice, yeah, a nice pavilion entry, going out over yeah. the entryway, mm-hmm. uh, so that you can get out that of your car. That would be, that would be friendly. Yes, little, yes. like welcoming, welcoming, yeah. Welcome in. Yeah. Welcome in. Yeah. 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 And I want to do it in the big timber style, like <coughs> mm-hmm. you see around, you know, the area. Yeah. yeah. Um, that speaks. I have an we are, we are I have a vision County. of what it looks like. I just, yeah. I'm not putting it on You're paper right now. No, no, until you get out of the red. Until you get out of the red. Now, do y'all feel like this was the best decision you could have made? Are you very pleased with what's happening? Absolutely. Now, had we understood how Georgia operates and with the whole Georgia Heart Program Mm -hmm. where we could get people with 
wouldn't we would have done it a little bit differently uh -huh. uh, but as anything you you find out as you go mm -hmm. and sure. we're learning as we go and we'll 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 take advantage of that as best possible but yeah i think we could have we could have probably saved some time money and energy had we mm -hmm. known about about the georgia heart program but but we're, you know, we're... And how do we let people know to tell their financial advisor or so, the guy who does their tax so return to do it? when we get approved, to do it. when okay. we get approved, but it's going to be, so because we're a rural emergency hospital and there was no such thing as a rural emergency hospital when the law mm -hmm. was passed to allow this, mm -hmm. we're not included in the, the we're, not a, we're not qualified right now. Mm -hmm. So we've spoken with the hospital association, they're ready to help us to qualify get qualified mm -hmm. but it's going to require legislation okay so the next time legislature's in session <coughs> we'll be lobbying to to be added mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. I, I don't i don't even know this is how bad i am i don't even know when the legislature meets again january here. is it so, so they meet Probably. once a year mm -hmm. okay. 40 days yeah so it's right? very yeah. similar yeah. to what alabama mm -hmm. yeah. is then yeah and um and so we'll be presenting to them to have that changed mm -hmm. and so hopefully sometime around tax season mm -hmm. that would be awesome <laughs> i that imagine would be awesome. we would have the ability to to join mm -hmm. in that program and and we'll definitely come on here and mm, definitely uh, give you all the information we can about yeah. how to how to help the hospital. you know when we write that check it says uh-uh yes we'd much rather <laughs> right. know it's going somewhere right. else exactly. locally yeah, you, you yeah. Send yeah up, that would you not send be up five thousand two thousand whatever it mm -hmm. is a hundred dollars mm -hmm. you don't know where it's going yeah at least yeah. here you can yeah. say I, it's going to Designate. take care and so yeah we're well I don't normally agree with politicians but whoever dreamed that up it was a I'm good all for oh, I, know. I, 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 know. I would I would vote for him I, I might even get him to run for president <laughs> <laughs> everybody else is yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> everybody else everybody is, else is. <laughs> yeah, so. oh lordy 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 you know um, the community almost took a hit and, and you are back now doing what mm -hmm. you do best is meeting and greeting the public and letting them know what's happening. And um, that's so very, very important yeah. because there was a it lot is. of negativity going around. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that negativity had to be squashed now. Yes. So yes. Have we squashed yeah. it enough? We're squashing We're it. It's still out there. Um, yeah. yeah, one of the things too, the, the previous owners, they wouldn't allow anybody at the hospital and they wouldn't do it in themselves to even address like a Facebook complaint. Mm -hmm. Really? Right. Mm -hmm. So people would say horrible things about happened at the and hospital. They could not. They reply. couldn't they couldn't they couldn't engage at all. And so one of the first things I did when I was like Yes, we yes. are going to yes. engage. We're yes. going to engage kindly yeah. and with and compassion. And explain it. Give and, them and, the truth. And yeah. reach out to them personally, mm -hmm. privately. Mm -hmm and say what can we do and we've resolved mm -hmm. several mm -hmm. several complaints where mm -hmm. people are actually happy mm -hmm. yeah. after their interaction and have removed their comments mm -hmm. or they'll mm -hmm. go back and amend them and you know give yeah. an update of mm -hmm. this is how it's and handled. that is so important it but, is but if you ignore it yeah. ignoring it is no, not no. the way doesn't it make it, it go, go away, away. It makes no it no worse. It makes it <coughs> people worse. say yeah. well that, if if i wasn't right they don't have yeah. exactly oh yeah exactly oh yeah exactly. No, it will. so, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. we are yeah. we are very attentive to mm -hmm. to what's being said and what happened we mm -hmm. know that mistakes can happen oh sure and so yeah. if they do we do everything sure. we can to rectify it and remedy it yep um, mm -hmm. yep well, one of the things, and I don't know if we talked about this when I was here, you know, I had been seeing another dermatologist who misdiagnosed mm -hmm. because they thought what I had yes. that was melanoma was skin cancer. Well, I didn't ever tell who the doctor was except, yeah. you know, but, but I tell everybody, trust your doctor, but trust your gut. Yes. Yes. Trust your Definitely. gut. And if you have a problem with your doctor, I, I was lucky enough, I've, I've gone through this whole cancer deal um, with Dr. Brian Geller down in... Um, Jasper and he was amazing he was uh, it was so thorough I was like really and he just kept checking checking everything from head to toe yeah. because of family history trust your doctor choose a doctor that you can sit down and talk, talk to and to I it. think the most important thing that you can share with your doctors is listen to your patient Amen. Mm -hmm. listen to your patient because we know what's going on with our body we know mm -hmm. if it ain't right you know exactly. there's something going on 
And and that was the thing that almost cost me my arm because yeah. for all these years I kept saying, you, what do you think about that? Well, I think it's an age spot. Well, I was getting old, so I kind of fell see. for it, you know. <laughs> right. But it wasn't. And so early detection is so important, mm -hmm. so important. And that's one of the things. If your doctor says it's time for that mammogram, trust him. Yes. If your doctor says, is your heart doing crazy stuff, trust him, you know. Yeah. And, and listen but make him listen to you too, mm -hmm. you know, and, yes. and get a doctor who will sit down who and talk listen. to the patients. Yeah. Look, doctors are people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Find one that works with you. That yes. You can interact the most with important and you thing. feel comfortable yeah. sharing mm -hmm. with and yeah. you feel like they're listening to you. Right. Right. Because if they're not listening to you, you're right. You, right. You're, you're yeah. not getting complete total mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. So well, I, I recommend people, if you're not satisfied with a doctor, find another one because mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. an, there, are, every doctor is a little bit different. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Just yep. like we all are. Yeah, we're, we're individuals. Well, I went to this knee dude. It was so funny, y'all. I'm an old lady, and I got a knee injury from a car wreck, and it's given me tons and tons of trouble. I know he didn't. I, I waited 55 minutes to see him, and then I know he wasn't in there 90 seconds because when I said, he said, "Well, I see your X-rays, da 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 da," and and it looks like you're going to need a knee replacement. And I said, "No." At the time, I was dealing with cancer, and I said, "My knee will probably outlive me the rate things are going." <laughs> so I said, "I'm not interested in a knee replacement." Well, he literally wasn't in the room 90 seconds, and I was like, you know, and somebody wow. asked me, they said, "Would you recommend them?" And I said. No, no. <laughs> not no, but heck no, yeah. because he didn't listen. I was battling with all the cancer mess mm -hmm. and dealing right. with all that. And right. so, no, I didn't want to talk about knee replacement. I wanted to know how bad it was. Mm -hmm. right. And did I have some time before it needed to be done? Right. But after I told him, I, he's interested in operating, not in the whole patient. Schedule, exactly. I don't have yes. time. Yes. You need to go back to wherever. Yeah. yeah. And that's. Find it blew another, my mind. Find another one. Yeah, when I left there, There's I was plenty. like, no, thank you. <laughs> no, yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Now, do y'all have anybody in the area that does wound care at Fannin? We do not have wound care. That is one of the greatest. We need. Yes. It really yes. Is. We have yes. it at our other facilities. And, yeah, uh, wound okay. care yeah. saved my arm. And honestly, yeah. that if it hadn't been for wound care, I'd have never made it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those things, and, and I didn't know how important it was because it, you know, mm -hmm. if you nearly cut it, your leg off, you mm -hmm. can't take care of it. That's you right. can't take mm -hmm. care of That's it. Right. You need somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah. So put that on your wish list. It's it's, it's on there. <laughs> <laughs> one care is, is it's very one important. Of them that yeah. We're, we're we're eyeing as as we pull ourselves out of this hole. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We'll be looking to do wound care. Yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah. one of those things, and no, you're traumatized anyway. And then when they send you home with these bandages, and they tell you do this, <laughs> change your bandage twice a day, and right. do all this, and you're going right. okay. Then it gets infected, and you're losing your arm, and you're like, I really wish I knew what I was doing. Because yeah. do you know how to take care of your own wounds? I, I didn't. No. You know. No, no not no. a real wound. No, no, uh -uh. no. And you don't realize how important a wound care clinic oh. is unless yes. you have that need, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like you've. I learned the hard way. But we yeah. know we know there is a need. Uh -huh. we've had, Definitely, we've had multiple stories and, mm -hmm. and just it's with this large of a population, you need one somewhere, and there's yeah. not a yeah. Mm -hmm. not there a good go. source. Yeah. Yet, so. You've got a nice building to put one in, don't I you? Do. <laughs> <I> do. <laughs> don't yeah. you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yeah. Okay, share the phone number of the hospital. Yes. Tell okay. the auxiliary phone number again. Okay. And the dates and the time. Uh, yes. Okay, the dates for Ladies Night Out Mammogram is Tuesday, October the 17th from 4 to 7 p.m. To schedule a mammogram, call 706-632-4248, uh, and you'll be, you'll be directly at the radiology, and Stephanie will make your appointment. Mm -hmm. You do not need an order. They will. We have standing orders from one of our physicians, so that eliminates you having mm -hmm. to call another. Yeah, yeah, make another to make another yeah. appointment. Yeah. Trying to remove as many obstacles as we right. can. Right. And for the month of October, you can schedule a Saturday appointment for convenience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it once a year? Even after a certain age, or is it if you have a bad one, then more regularly? How, what's the? I think so it's like William it, you, said. If you, if you yeah. ha don't have anything after and 40. there's no, then it's two to three years, okay. depending mm -hmm. on you know family history, that mm -hmm. type of thing. Um, but then if you have something. 
then they'll they a lot of people they'll put on a, an uh, annual yes. right? mm -hmm. uh, we need to check this we need to follow this every year and see if it changes right um, okay and then the and next thing you're doing is well the concession stand Friday yeah. night Friday it's night. pink out night mm -hmm. and where uh, you paint and come to the ball game yeah, exactly. Exactly. and ETC makes these ball games possible yes on your local TV station isn't mm -hmm. that cool so yep. yeah so yeah. So that's exciting. And then the auxiliary just dial 706-632-3711. And then, yeah, we, or you can call me. I'll be happy to send an application. And uh, then, like I said, it's, it's really neat. You know, you get to see a lot of people, like William said, they, they direct people, give them, you know, directions or walk them to join wherever the they, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to yeah. join the auxiliary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about the cafeteria? Is the cafeteria up now? I know everybody says it is. Well, it is. I had yeah. a lady yeah. yesterday morning. I, you know, I was Not asking. Not many times her. do I say hospital food's good. It is we good. Have good food. I've had yes. to. I've had to cut back because yeah. my yeah. getting a little yeah. heavy around the waist. Now, what meals are y'all open? Breakfast and lunch. lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And do the public still come like they used to? Well, not like they used to before, you know, COVID. before COVID. COVID changed things mm -hmm. yeah. but yeah. there are some people that do come yeah. Yeah. you know not once only or is twice it good, a week. it's reasonable exactly oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very reasonable. yeah the yeah, food yeah. is is really good like you yeah, said you don't find that people say that a lot yeah. at yeah. To, when they're at a hospital yeah. But, yeah. But all right break. let's give a warning about afib you said that is so weird i've always heard people went into afib and then when i heard that this friend mm -hmm. of ours had a stroke and was in afib i'm like what does that really mean yeah. you kind of clarified it and yeah. and to be cautious mm -hmm. if you have that yeah, fluttering feeling in you, your throat. You, you, generally, people with AFib will feel something different. They, they, when you start talking to them, they've been in AFib for you know six mm -hmm. months, mm -hmm. and, and then you start talking, they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I do have <laughs> that." It's weird. Um, get it checked out. It's yeah. serious. You yeah. get, it's because it's a clot maker. It's, yeah, that's what they do. It builds wow. clots. And, and caffeine does make caffeine it worse. Caffeine triggers it. Dang it. Yeah. Caffeine triggers Darn it. Darn it. But there's a pill said. that'll help it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay away from pills. I, I mean, do too. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, That's yeah, why I gave yeah. up caffeine. You gave up caffeine. Yeah, they, darn it. Y'all just darn said, it, I can give you a pill to take care of it. Like, <laughs> no, no, I'll just give it up. It. Oh, yuck. <laughs> well, I'm so glad y'all joined us today, and I hope that you learned a little bit about our new medical facility that is up and running and yes. running hard. And again, trivia night is Monday night. Monday night mm -hmm. at the Blue Coyote, 6 o'clock if you want to join us. There it's you go. It's safe, I promise you. It's safe and fun <laughs> and fun and fun. I will see you again only on ETC. Don't forget, everything we do goes to YouTube by this afternoon. If you missed the program or if you missed something we said, you can watch it again on YouTube. It'll be avail available from now until eternity, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> the second coming. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all.